bro. P players coming out here with shirts of characters that they don't play or bring out in tournament made me kind of, uh. Hey, bro, it's just a good shirt. Maybe he does play DK. Maybe, but if he doesn't bring it out, I'm going to be kind of sad. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> are we going to be starting PS2? Hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, Chris, we saw early on stream, kind of not playing well. He wasn't, not, not, not that he didn't play well, but he was just, like, not adapting to what his opponent was doing. But I still do think he's, like, a good player, and so I'm really excited to see, like, how he plays now. All right, well, it looks like Warchief's going to have to tell him to switch again. Oh, Link? Oh, Link. All right, Link I don't know a damn thing. <laughs> Loki, if we're getting uh, another Zelda rep, I would like Linkle, but we have so many Zeldas. We, we have so many Links, my bad. Eh, actually, we got like four Marts. Yeah. Got four Marts, three Links. That's all I can think of right now. Two Pikachus. Uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I can't say the spaces are the same because they play totally different from each other. Either way. Going into it. So we're getting a D to D versus Link. I'm not sure what to think of this matchup. If uh, I feel like if Sleeps throws out like a lot of projectiles, it's gonna be really hard for like Chris to to throw out his Gordon. But at the same time, he does have that inhale, which will split things back. But like the inhale does like 1.1 times damage, so it's not a great reflector. It, it's not really gonna do much, especially for the bomb here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that bomb literally did up 1.6 percent. Yeah, and bomb definitely is gonna help uh, Sleeps Jim, uh, Chris the Hatman a little bit more on the way up because. DD is definitely one of the harder characters to get, especially with the super armor on his upbeat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and Sleeps, Sleeps can uh, challenge Gordo a little bit more, but he has to be careful with how he does so because it inhales the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Man, Gordo, like Gordo is such like a make or break like thing, because like sometimes the DD will like pull out a Gordo and literally do 50 to you, or then you could literally do the same to them. Yeah. Is he gonna drop and try to bomb himself? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's like a couple different techniques to do it where you like, you have to like Z drop it and wait a certain time to like go at a certain distance. All right, gonna grab him, get the back out here, and no, not gonna go for a uh, full hop for there. Oh wait, did he full hop? I'm, I, I didn't catch it honestly. What, whatever the case, he was too low for that four there to cap. Yikes! Yeah, he was just kind of caught without resource, and that F smash hits so damn far. Took my breath away. Oh my god. Yeah, that was one of those moments where he's like, I don't, I don't know if I can do anything about this. Oh, I forgot about a mechanic that links that smash. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I was so con like, I remember hearing about that, not, and I forgot about it. And then I saw it, and I thought you got like a certain uh, number of ones. Yeah. And then someone's like, oh, it's at zero. I was like, oh, I'm just dumb then. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> it goes deep for the fair. Try to go for the down air. I feel like you should hug the uh, hug close to the ledge a little. Ooh, that could have been a dead shield. That was the perfect uh, roll right there. Yeah. Because he just disappeared and uh, got the perfect up B. Yeah, and when when Sleeps is recovering, I feel like he should hug the ledge a little bit more and face outwards when he's doing the up B. So just in case Chris the Hatman tries to punish him, it brings him out to the front. Ooh, unfortunately training with the Gordo. So he did get DDD off him a bit, but look at this. Back to the ledge here. This is one of the place. This is one of the places where DD is like actually a scary character, and it's like in Smash 4 too. It's like being on the ledge against DD is the only time when he's like a good character. Yeah, his ledge traps are pretty good. Like there is ways around around it if you're patient enough, but it's still scary and daunting because you're like one wrong read and like everything's gone. Get hit by a big hitbox just like that hammer right there. The DI was look the DI was good on the up air, but again that up is a bit too strong. All right. Going to try to go with a full jab there. Not going to connect. Ooh, I think he went for like an up smash for you. That was uh, interesting. I was probably suspecting like uh, a roll. All right, going to go with with a boomerang throw. Not going to connect. I like the falling nair attempt there, but it wasn't able to send the Gordo in the right direction to distract Chris the Hatman a little bit more. Yeah, Link's nair is a force to be reckoned with. It's, such, it's so fast, it does so much, and it's like safe. It's also a kill tool at high percents. Honestly, bro. All right, very nice spot dodge cancel into a hero spin there. <laughs> hero spin is another great move. It's so strong. Another spot, great spot dodge. dodge, but I would have liked to see an up smash uh, that time. All right, gonna get hit with the back air there. Just the Hatman going for a forward tilt. 
Oh, that's one move that I haven't seen Chris being, uh, Chris using a little bit more is uh, the down tilt. Oh, good tech though. Oh yeah. Don't see much down tilt coming in. He actually hit it back too. That would have been, would have been thick damage. That was funny. Oh, misses in the tech too. Gonna get that dash tech. Uh, Sleeps is not completely out of this yet. If he gets a couple conversions, I wonder if he knows like the, uh, the short hop bomb like fair thing. Oh my God, the in uh, the basically in uh, infinite combo. Yeah. Oh, oh tried to go for the dash attack. Here. All right, Sleeps is kind of starting to turn up. He's getting this momentum. He's getting some hits in, but is it going to be too late? But now he's on the ledge. Uh, Jet Hammer, oh. Everyone's a little scared, but uh, everyone remember, you can just, just hit him. I, I honestly thought he jumped off and up I'm like, damn, you got the game there, bro. I don't think up would kill just because D to D's like. Uh, no, but like he could drag him with him to the blast zone. True. All right, so, yep, Chris going to take that first game after that close, uh, close comeback from Chris. He's even like, oh my god. I... He feels it in his hands, bro. He's like, I, I didn't want that comeback to happen. I, I think I he might be right, though, ball. like on the up B. I think it might have killed, but. He was like at 60. I think Sleep was like on the, on the you know, fence about it. He's like, I don't know if it'll kill yet. So he just kind of held back. Yeah. But I just decided to use the Nair instead. Mm -hmm. Honestly, th those are like the times where you go for the do or die play. Uh, especially when your opponent's in disadvantage. Yeah, it's definitely that fight or flight instinct where like someone's like, you can you can tell what kind of player that is. It's like, am I going to go for it all or am I just going to uh, stay back? Yeah. And right there you saw Sleep stay back. And he was still doing well. He's starting to bring it back. So I'm... I want to see how Sleep's like uh, adapts in game two. And going back to stadium once more in game two here. Immediate up throw up air. Tries to land, uh, tries to get him with a back air on the landing, but he smartly jumps over him. All right, not gonna get the landing there either. Gets punished with the up tilt instead. All right, back throw, throwing him off the stage, going for the F-Smash read. I'm so surprised that didn't hit. I think if you let go earlier. Um, I don't think where Link was during the F-Smash, I don't think that that specific place had a hitbox. I mean. You might be right, I'm not sure. But either way, that was really scary, but Sleep's still gonna bring this one back. Shoot oh, it. <laughs> shoot it back. Imagine eating an arrow and then throwing it back. Imagine eating and just regurgitating it back. Thing. Bro, that up is so strong. So Link looks mangled in his his wall spot. I would too if a giant penguin just sat on me. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna get the forward tilt on the get up attack. Invincible throughout the whole animation until it's done. DoD's get up attack looks weird because like it's just his toes. Wow, he actually died. I don't think the DI was the best on that one. I don't even think there was DI, he just kind of flew. He said D who? <laughs> oh, right. I like the, the run back and forth. I thought he was actually just gonna run in and grab him. Yeah, I thought he was gonna go for a grab there, maybe set up for a tomahawk grab, but it did not come to pass. Yeah, honestly, tomahawk grabs are like really good for like players who really will just sit in there and shield a lot. And like at this arcade, and a lot of players, like a lot of the lower level players do just like to run up and shield. And so quick tomahawk just teach them, don't, don't be doing that. Yeah, you gotta mix it up from time to time here. And Chris, the hat man, trying to make sleeps understand that he has to mix up how he's coming back as well. Also, I didn't know that if you hit the Gordo back, you can make it stick. I thought only D2D could do that. Huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it makes sense, but yeah. you know, realization. Oh, you know. Lands with the forward air, oh, with the back air on the forward smash there. Yeah, we, we uh, you saw there, he uh, Z dropped the bomb and waited a bit so he would fly up at the perfect uh, angle. Oh, actually call, tries to call him out with the up air, but he's not going to hit yet. Yeah, and uh, a lot of these players we've been seeing on stream lately have been trying to charge smash packs uh, for hard reads there. They need to slow down a little bit on that, be a little bit more safe with the buttons they're pressing. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tries to narrow it, but actually we're still living. He tries to shoot the Gordo back. I didn't even see him throw it out there. Oh, give it back to me. I'm playing tennis out here. All right, jab, jab, getting him off the stage, but Gordo going to kill him. Yeah, again, got to watch out of where of where you're going. And a 1.1%. A good old right percent of 1.1. All right, another up throw up here. Actually air dodging past it, but immediately gets the uh, the frame trap. Throw him off stage. You see Chris uh, not really, not cool. ever going off stage to try to edge guard. He's really content with just throwing out the Gordos, which is fair when your character is like literally meant to ledge guard you. Yeah. 
again, DDD. Chris the Hatman with a solid lead right now. Can die at almost any moment with the right confirm. Oh, goes to the up B. I really don't like that Sleeps is like, when DDD is hopping above him, he's just sitting there and shielding. Because it's just, it, it just kind of like submitting it to DDD. If, you, if he's just going to jump there, you might as well anti-air him. And like try to let him know that you can't just hop in my face for free. Yeah, it's, Sleeps has had the trouble right now of using his up tilt or using his up airs because a lot of the times Chris has been above him if, if not comboing him. Mm -hmm. Comboing or chipping him out. Yeah. Oh, missing the tech, but not going to go for the, that. Actually, shield poke that. You see that? Scoop him up. Yeah, Scoop a Rooney. Coming in once more with a, with a mob bomb. All right, so let's see what Sleeps has uh, for this. I think with Gordos, you still need 2% to actually send it back, so like Bomb actually doesn't do it because it only does 1%. Yeah. Well, I, I think that it needs to have like at least a little bit of knockback to it. I, I have no idea. True. Um, still, Chris, Sleeps is slowly bringing this back. Chris is uh, kind of, uh, he's kind of going back into a little more reserve play style. And right now that's allowing Sleeps to like bring this back and like have an actual shot of doing this. Chris Hatman trying to inhale that bomb there. Sleeps is not going to give it to him. Arrow not going to connect. Misses his mark. Oh, tries to go for the up smash read. A little too ambitious here. Like you said, a lot of players, a lot of these players will like to just go for a hard smash attack read, but if you don't have the conditioning, there's no point in going for it. Yeah. Oh, oh gets the drag down fair. I think he could have got drag down fair up B. I don't, I don't even know if he was trying to get the drag down fair. Up smash. Oh, okay, okay, Chris, feel yourself, bro. You gave him a little fist bump. Feel yourself, honestly. That was scary. Honestly, though, like, if that... Bro, if, 